Now that you've downloaded Swift Shopper, here's a few steps and tips for using the app. Swift Shopper is available for Apple and Android products and requires a wireless or cell signal. Tip: If your cell is searching for wireless, it can interfere with the app. Turn off your wireless connection if app is going slow or the barcodes are not reproducing. Then use your cell signal. Before beginning to scan with Swift Shopper, make sure the store has a dual handheld scanner. Open the app. Scan barcodes at any angle. Quick tip, only point scanner at items you want scanned. It's sensitive. Change quantity by scanning or with the plus button. Item name or description may not match. That's okay. It will ring up correctly at the register. In the items list, you can rename items, change quantity, and delete items. On an Android, you can manually enter the price and see a running total of the items in your cart. Save changes. When done shopping, select checkout and hand the phone to the cashier. Remember, stores must have a dual handheld scanner. The cashier scans each barcode, swiping to the next barcode. Every other background is gray, so it's easy to see when you've moved to the next item. You can also see what number item you are scanning at the bottom of the screen. Checkout complete pops up when you swipe from the last item. The cashier should hand your phone back and you can choose no to save the list or compare it to your receipt or yes to clear the list and be ready for your next shopping trip. For ad-free Swift Shopper, select info, upgrade, purchase upgrade. Another bonus for Android users is Android Rewards. Check out our question and answer page on SwiftShopperApp.com for even more tips and updates. Swift Shopper, making checkout mobile.